show you guys what I'm talking about. So right here it looks very clean, neat, nothing's wrong with it. But as soon as I go boom, you guys already see that line of dead skin it automatically just comes out. And it's a, it's a huge issue that Welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe today is a new day. Let's go. Let's go. New day. New day. Let's go. Hopefully you guys are as hype as me, man. Cause we got a what? So, uh, today, as you guys see on the thumbnail, I'm gonna be showing you guys what's going on with these dreadlocks, man. And it's, uh, it's kind of getting itchy too. Uh, I have put some oil recently, but before we get into all that stuff, I got a story to tell y'all, man. Crazy thing happened today. Well, it's not that crazy, but it is part of the day. I was doing food delivery. I pull up to my car and I'm about to take off. And this guy pulls up, or he already pulled up right next to me and he opened the door like this. And uh, it dinged like the other side of my car. And I was like, I was like, did he just do that? Cause I just heard it go boom. And I'm like, whoa. And I looked and the guy was like, like he had a mask on. He was like, and I'm like, oh, you good, you good. But I wanted to check it out. So I got out the car. <laughs> I went around and then I looked at the dent and I'm like, hold on, did this happen from this? It's like a small dent, but it's an obvious dent. You know how you can kind of measure from your eye when a door opens? His door that hit my car, like the dent would land in the same spot you heard the ding. Like you can just tell from by not even him pulling it all the way open. And I'm like, okay, you can pull it open so we can see it. His girlfriend comes on the other side and I don't know if that's his wife or anything. And she's like, he didn't do that scratch. <laughs> and then she points at a different scratch. And I'm like, what the heck are you talking about? Like I looked at her, I was like this, and then he was like, as soon as she got in front of him, he was like, "What you trying to do then?" Oh, please, 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 stop, please, 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 and then he said, okay then, what you trying to do then? I didn't do that. Like, there's nothing to happen. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, bruh, come on. Like, like I was trying to be very humble. And I was I was even trying to let him slide, you know what I'm saying? But he got really defensive. Hey, bro, come on, come to the street, come to the street. I don't know. I'm like, you're good, bro. And then he was like, oh, what you trying to do then? And then his girlfriend was kind of like trying to hold him down or something like that. And I'm over here like, bruh, like, you're good. And like, I had my mask on like this, you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't trying to fight or anything like that. And you guys have seen like my Uber videos like I really let people like go like if you have a problem you can talk to me but like if you have like real issues especially if you're being defensive about it then it's like like you automatically you could just tell this dude is guilty as heck bro like I, how defensive he got how he wanted to square up the moment his girl was in front of him I'm like okay what's up then like you see what you did right here and you trying to deny it and then she was like he didn't do nothing he didn't do nothing he didn't do that he didn't do that scratch and I'm like ask him like did you hit my car and he was like yeah I did hit your car but and then she was like Oh, okay. Okay, then. I was, she was like, stop, babe. Stop, babe. And then he was like, yeah, what's up? Hi, right, then. Oh, Girl, oh, I Jay, know. I know. Stop. I know how you are. Stop oh me. God. God. All right, then. And then he got in the car, and I was just like laughing. I was like, like I guess you want to turn it to something that's not. You know what I'm saying? Which is like, he obviously trying to square up. You know what I'm saying? And he kind of looked at me down and up, and I looked at him. I'm like, like, what is going on? And so I just got in the car. I'm like, you're good, bro. Like, you don't have to worry about it. Like, you don't got to trip about it. If you do, you just got to apologize. And then he didn't say nothing. He just, like, got in the car and just slammed his door or whatever. His girl got in the car and then they trying to dip off. So I was like, I ain't going to let that slide. Me, I'm, I would have let it slide if he was like, yeah, my bad, bro. I didn't notice. Like, I was having a bad day. Whatever it is. Because I gave him the chance to speak it out. And so, I was like, I'm going to be that guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be that guy. So, I called uh, I called 911. And then, they gave me, like, a, a number that they uh, they give you for, like, local reports and stuff like that. So, I called. I was like, like I asked them if they do this kind of investigation or whatever. And I had the license number. And I gave it to them. But it's like, when you think about it, it's like, people may, may be like, oh, you should have fought him or something like that. But like, that would have ended up nothing. Cause I know if you, if he swung first, everything else after that follows with defensive movements. You know what I'm saying? That, that's gonna come out, my, 
You know what I'm saying? And so I say that, I say that for the devil, you know, so for spiritual things. So I was like, I'm not gonna fight you, bruh. I'm not, I'm not about I'm not about it no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about that life, I'm not about that sword life or gun life or boxing life. Unless you wanna put some gloves on, okay? That's like, you know, real competition and stuff like that. But this dude was trying to street fight me. And I know he was trying to swing, like, like I knew he was gonna try to swing if I did like if I said like what's up then? So like he would have done the first, like, you know, that week, like, you know, when you don't expect it when you're looking around he would have just you know snapped and i would have oh <laughs> she was laughing over there i would have said bro you good bro you good bro chill chill like you know say i would have dodged you know so i would have not i would have not dropped him Ooh. Yeah, but I need to take some boxing class. If I take some boxing class, I'm gonna get my abs strong. Like one of the things I told y'all is I'm trying to lose some weight over this 21 day fasting that I'm doing. So I'm trying to get my abs strong. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's the, that's the only weak, weakest link, man. You can hit me right here. This jawline made out of steel, boy. But, hi guys. Before we get into the video, man, here it is. Intro. Intro. Alright guys, before I show you guys what's going on with my hair, I gotta show you guys me putting my hair on sale. Yeah, sounds crazy, huh? Told y'all last video that I'm, I'm about to put it on eBay and see if people actually bid on it and so that. And if you guys see it on uh, eBay to go bid on it, I might throw the link down there. See, see what's the most you can offer me on? Of course, don't put your credit card in like dumb information like that. Don't, don't, don't do that. And if you create an account, just create an account with your email that you don't usually use because eBay will spam you, jam you, junk you and everything like that. So uh, I'm about to put it on eBay. I should have put up, I should put it on offer up too and see if people actually want to buy my dreads because I know there's like websites now they sell fake fake dreads and stuff like that so I'm trying to see if people will actually buy it but let me get my laptop right now and I'm gonna just use old pictures to put it on eBay all right guys I'm about to set up the account so I can put it on the list I think I've had an account with them before what do you want to sell Dread. lock mine is about 12 inch so I'm gonna click this ladies right here Pre-owned, obviously it's pre-owned, boy. Gray hair, 10 inch. I think mine is 12 inch. 12 inch. Blue dreads. Blue human hair dreadlock extension. Let's forget the extension. Pre-owned, add photo from the computer. Let's see if I have any crispy pictures. Um, Instagram. Instagram, which one looks like a, a really good one that people would like probably, this one. Yeah, that looks like a good extension one. Make sure you go to the link, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you go get this extension, man. I'm telling you, I'm trying to see if y'all can would buy my extension, man. Y'all for real about to buy it, I might start selling drill locks. All right, I think that's enough right there. I'm gonna put selling my hair to the highest bidder. Bid, bid, bidder, bidder. I just put, I just put the pictures in there. What in the world? To attract buyers and increase competition for your item, consider a low starting bid. 99 cents. You know what I'm saying? 99 cents. Yeah. Buyer can purchase immediately at this price. Let me turn that on. And if somebody offers me seven days, let's do it three days because by the next video, yeah, let's do it three days. Buy it now. And if you want to buy it ASAP, guess what? I'm going to offer my dreads for how much you think? How much you think my dreads will sell if actually I ended up cutting it? Let's say I, I get like 100k subscribers by the, by, the end, by the end of this year, right? Let's not say let's do that. Let's go subscribe right now. For those that's watching this, let's go subscribe. Let's go support young man, young handsome man with dreadlock, all right? Uh, but how much would I sell it for? Let's say I got 100, 100k subscribers, so people really like my dreads. A lot of people had commented that you deserve 100k, you deserve a milli, a yes, sir. We'll get there. Step by step, but let's see. Okay, how about uh, 10K? Somebody give me a 10K? That'd be tough, man. That'd be tough, man. That'd be tough for, for a hair? Come on, man. 
10K, that'd be tough. All right, packaging. What do y'all think? Pictures, bangers. You know what I'm saying? I'm selling these drill locks. Improve your chance selling. Add more details about your feature. Okay. Wavy, curly, closure, deep wave, straight. Wavy? What is closure? The heck is what the heck is closure? Human hair, yep. Features. Let's see if we got Ethiopian hair. We ain't got African hair. Come on, man. Indian hair. Brazilian hair. Y'all yeah, tripping, tripping. Attachment is dreadlocks. Come on, man. You know what I Braids, extension. You ain't got dreads. Yeah, you tripping, tripping. Big time. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. 1.1 million recent search for this detail. What? Man, did I need to start getting into this dreadlock extension? Oh, it's probably because it's, it's a human hair extension. Maybe. Yeah, that's. But it says 241K searches for just braid extension. 159K for uh, curly hair. Hair type human hair, 219K. I guess, let's see. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna select all of them then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to say this time, man. Hey, you hit me up with that. You hit me up with that. <laughs> 10K, man, we might make a deal right there and then. And then on the next video, the update will be me cut my hair for this 10K deal. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> don't play with me. Donation, donate a potion to charity. Definitely, man. Definitely. We got the, we got the, ten percent tied. That's the, that's the charity that I know works. Come on, man. Quit playing with me. World Central Kitchen. Come on, man. Where the church is at? Flexions on of Trinity. That sounds sketchy. You know what I'm saying? That does sound sketchy. All these. Maybe let's do the meals on wheel. Sound like food. It's the preview. Okay, what does it look like? All right, let's look. Let's look what it look like. Somebody's gonna come. Price. <laughs> 10k they gonna say boom they gonna say come on switch I guess it doesn't switch let's see let's see let's see come on man sell now have one to sell I guess preview don't let you change that okay 12 inch blue human hair dreadlock selling my hair to the highest bidder place bid go place your don't put your credit card or anything like that in there. All right, guys, I was able to list it, but they took off the one, uh, the 10K buy it now price because this is my first time selling, I guess. So I'm limited to $1,000 uh, of anything that I list, which is kind of dumb. Somebody want to buy it for 10K, why can't they? But I had to switch up with accounts and everything to set it up. So uh, the link will be down below. And if you are being realistic, you can go bid. Like you can't just bid something that you don't have. And of course, don't put your credit card or anything like that in so you don't purchase it. And if you have already an eBay account, you can use it. Just don't purchase it at the end. So I'm just listing it right now for three days and seeing if anybody ends up bidding on it. Uh, so I'm going to update you guys on the next video. So let's get to the video what we're talking about today. I hope this was entertaining. All right, guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys this dreadlock issue that I have, which is dandruff. I've had issue with dandruff even before having dreadlocks, uh, even back in the days when I had like curly hair and stuff like that. And even even when I'm able to get to the roots of my skin, uh, like this right here, uh, even when I'm able to wash it and condition it, or not condition it, but oil it, moisturize it, I still end up having some flakes and some, and it's natural, it's pretty natural. And I don't want some of y'all to be like, is dandruff bad or something? Like, is it gonna mess up my dreads? Not gonna mess up your dreads it's just one of the clowns that you will always have by having coarse hair or a hair type like mine and some people of course have it and even in the lower numbers of hair types so don't worry about it uh, everybody gets dandruff I think some people get to get it more than others and I will consider myself to be people that get it more than others because I can literally start scratching at one spot and it may look like it's not dry but it literally will be flooded with dandruff and not even me scratching 
like crazy to get skin off, but like literally just touching or rubbing it will make my dreads, will bring out the dandruffs that I have. And it's a problem that I try to handle different ways. Uh, maybe I need to visit a doctor or something. I know they offer like medically, like some, some things to put on your hair, I guess, prescribed uh, to you personally. Uh, Cause I know my little brother has struggled with the same thing and he was able to, I believe, to resolve it. And I need to talk to him about it. Maybe if he actually had resolved that problem. And so I'm gonna show you guys what that, what I'm talking about and I'm gonna start like in the front I'm gonna literally get like a comb and I will show you guys literally what it looks like so so as you guys can see my hair look very moisturized uh, well not combed though um, just kind of woke up it's kind of like 7 a.m. in the morning I didn't wake up I woke up about two three two hours ago actually and I was just studying and praying but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about so right here it looks very clean neat nothing's wrong with it but as soon as I go boom you guys already see that line of uh, dead skin dandruff is a dead skin and uh, automatically just comes out and it's a it's a huge issue that I dealt with for a while like I said uh, I tried putting coconut oil and that's a no I never did coconut oil actually and I don't recommend that at all uh, and also I talked to the lady that did my uh, retwist and she told me not to never do that and I've never done that it just didn't seem right to put coconut oil on my hair of coconut itself I've used virgin oil uh, olive oil um, and this is where my hair looked like with the olive oil in it and stuff like that still issues with it and um, as you guys can see it's annoying literally just comes out like crazy uh, and almost like never ending type of thing so in the future I might see a doctor for real for real and if you guys have the same issue and it's not as crazy as mine let me know if it is common let me know because some people may say yeah bro I got the same thing as common but you might not know that that might not be common because my big brother don't don't get that like that. He gets some danger, but it's not as crazy as mine. Um, so if I go even in the, in here, as soon as I touch it, y'all see that? Literally just changes the color and the flakes will come out automatically. And I don't know if I have a lot of skin and it just dries up or it dies just like that or I don't know man they call it dead skin so and that's for a reason that it just pops out so if I do that to the rest of my hair you can literally see a white mark almost like almost like in the summer and uh almost like in the winter you know how you get like real cold and your hands turn ashy automatically and you touch it you like squeeze it or something it automatically gets ashy almost like that like it's ashy and it's dead skin and it's too hot to be ashy you know what i'm saying right now like it's, it's just it just makes no sense to me so let me see if i can do it on the side you guys can see on the black part right here i'm gonna wipe it off Yeah, and then the more hair I have is the more um, dandruff it has. So right here, I don't have much hair, so I don't have much dandruff. But right here, I have a lot of hair. So if I go right here, for example, you guys can see it coming out right there. Where the root of the my hair is at. That is the issue that I always consistently deal with. So don't be discouraged if you have the same problem. Uh, you can still have one of the best drill locks. Pros and cons are of drill locks come in different shape or form. So mine is in that. And I'm not really mad or anything about it. Or nor disappointed or wanted to give up about it. There was a time that uh, that happened, you know, in my previous video. And you guys seen it. But now I have gotten over it. I'm at a point where, like, I'm going to do my best to take care of my dreads. And 
if it, even if it looks terrible, then it looks terrible, you know what I'm saying? On the next upcoming videos, probably next week, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this whole frizz of dreadlock after getting like a fresh retwist like this and style and stuff like that. How can I get it to look like the first time it looks? I'm gonna do a video on that. My life is consistently like doing stuff and busy. Like I can't take care of my hair as much as I can, but like, of course I cut my hair. I do the best that I can. I, I got a retwist recently and before that I, I used to kind of crochet hook the fronts and as much as I can with the schedule that I have so for those of you guys that are in the judgmental like how do you not take care of your dreads man how do you not do this do that and it's like I do as much as I can to be honest with you I am not and addicted to like touching my dreads or looking my dreads maybe you are addicted to my dreads that's why you're saying that uh, you're mad you don't have my dreads um but to those that have dreads on their own and you know doing it on their own they understand what i'm talking about and uh some of some of y'all can take care of your dreads pretty well it's kind of like one of your priorities and that's good you know what i'm saying I'm not knocking y'all down, but to those that are just, you know, being judgmental and they have no dreads even, or can they show it, uh, then uh, you need to find a seat, plenty of seat. Uh, there's a lot of chairs in my house. There's a lot of chairs outside at the bus stop. Uh, I would rather have you actually outside at the bus stop than my house. But hey, thank you guys for watching this whole video. I hope this whole video was entertaining for you guys. Go bid on the thing that I just showed you guys so that I can see how much would the my dreadlocks really sell if I cut it. I'm not really cutting it. I might. I'm not 10k. Mm, maybe. Mm. Check out the previous video. But till next time, keep acting the verse. You create your universe. I'm out.